What up, what up, y'all? Tim Z here. Back at it again, like you can always expect. You know what I mean? And today, I'm going to be installing something on my large Sebenza, which recently came back from Idaho. Glass blasted with a silver thumb stud and spa treatment, all right? Okay, this is a big boy knife. Big boy. All right, so it's glass blasted. And uh, it's a nice knife, but there is one issue with this knife. You can see it from here. I can touch the edge just like this, not even squishing my finger. And I know that's an opportunity to get sliced, especially up here. So um, I bought a backspacer, guys. And um, this backspacer is discontinued, which means they're not producing any more. Okay, and um, when I got the knife, I was disappointed how close that back, uh, the, the blade was to the back of the knife while it was in the closed position. So I, I was like, oh, damn it. You know, I was pissed. Well, not pissed, but disappointed, all right? Because I, I want to carry this, but at the same time, I don't like sliced fingertips, and that's way too close. All right, guys? So, um... It's a shame that I have to take it apart right now, but I'm here to take it apart, all right? <clears throat> Combat beads driver, brand new, you know? All right, so let's see what I'm gonna have to do here. Backspacer is gonna fit right here. Man, I guess it just rests up on the uh, blade stop, uh, stop pin, and um, shit. What's this one? Alright, that's interesting. Um, oh, okay, that's going to go where the lanyard hole is. And uh, going to secure it. But let's just get right into tearing it down, alright? No, enough talking. Wow, that boy is tight. You know, hold up. I don't want to cut myself while I'm trying to loosen this, you know, that would be terrible. Holy smokes. Did they lock tight the fuck out of that? That shit's tight. Let me try some other other screws here. <clears throat> but that shit tight as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. Um, at this point, shit, that's what I'm thinking, you know. All right, this one loosens. All right, it's back here. It loosens up. All right, that one's loose. All right, I'm scared of this one right here, which <clears throat> I'm trying to think if I really need to disassemble this part. I mean, I do want to use a different lubric lubrication on this knife, I guess. Shit, am I doing something wrong? Like, I mean, that feels so tight. <clears throat> Whatever. All right, so I'm going to try to just take this off right here because I think, you know what? I'm going to need to take off that part, though, because I don't believe this part goes around it. Shit. Uh, I'm gonna take out this screw. Like I said, this is my first time doing this. There's no bullshit or take ones or twos on this. It's live, all right? <clears throat> the shit's live, so you can rip me if you want. I don't give a uh, shit, all right? You can rip me. You can talk whatever shit you want. It's fine. Oh shit. All right. <clears throat> oh shit, that felt tight. All right. Um, does that fit right in? There you go. That's what it is. Um, so I suppose I, c wait, no, I can't because I need to get that in there too. Shit. Um, all right, so that definitely needs to loosen. That thing feels tight as shit, though. I don't know. 
Oh boy. Oh, damn it, man. The tool felt like it was gonna slip. All right. Oh, look at that fucking Loctite. What the hell? That's a lot, man. That's a lot. All right. <clears throat> I'm not going to put any Loctite back on it. <laughs> it's too much, man. Holy smokes. And I don't want to cut myself, too, because I know it's so close to the edge. Motherfuck. Yo, that thing is... Yo. Damn, that shit's stuck in there now. Um, let me think. All right. I gotta see if I can break the... All right. Holy smokes. Did that leave a... I know. I'm going to try with this, but if this doesn't get it, it's just going to stay like that because I'm there's no way I'm, I'm messing around with that anymore. It's way too much uh, tension on that screw. And uh, this is not so smart, too. This has got an extension and an adapter, but... Oh, that one got it. You know, this one has more um, grip. So the combat beads driver already has proved itself to be useful. All right. Damn. I don't know what the hell they're putting on there, but that's some serious shit. And you need some extra grip. That little shit wasn't doing it. All right. I'm going to loosen the pivot. And this video is going to be super long because... Um, yeah, whatever. You guys are here to watch. And if you're still watching, thank you. All right, that's all I got to say. Um, let's pick it out. All right. <clears throat> all right, this is kind of scary. Let's see what attention we got on here. I don't got anything plastic here to pry it with, but wait, is there anything else? All right. Uh, let me see if I got a tool here. Probably some tool here that I can use to not scratch up the metal. <laughs> it's always a shitty thing to have to do to, to, to take off, uh, take apart a knife after it's been serviced by the manufacturer. Um, all right, I got to be careful here because there's a. <clears throat> the washer is here and I don't want to crimp it. And this is terrible. The hell's. Damn, I think there's so much Loctite here that is holding the knife together still, which is insane. Seriously, that's insane. I'm gonna try to pull the blade out, but holy smokes. It's under tension. All right, that, that was really fucked up because now I don't know which way the blade goes back on. Um, all right, I'm glad to see this S45 marking here, but I don't know why on the birth certificate they said 35. My original birth certificate said 45, but when I got the reissued birth certificate, it said 35 on it, all right? <clears throat> um, all right, so I can tell which side which uh, washer goes on because the ring here is bigger which would be right there. 
and um, yeah, the bigger ring is on this side. Um, it looks like it's not even greased. It's very dry. Like, did they even service this shit? I feel like it's so dry. It's like bone dry. I don't know. It looks dry as shit. That's all I know. Um, this one, it, it's kind of dirty if you ask me. I'm going to wipe that off. But I'm trying to figure out why it's so dirty. If I had an ultrasonic cleaner here, I would be using it on this. But since I don't have one right here, I am going to use the tweet. Um, oh, shit, you can't even see. I'm using a tweezer to clean out the grooves, get the grease out, and wiping it on a paper towel. All right. Um, I don't know. When I see this grease, it's dark and it doesn't look fresh. That's what that, that's what comes to mind. So I don't know if they're just not doing a good job with their cleaning, or they if the spa treatment is rushed, which I would not be surprised. I'm using some alcohol, okay. Um, I would not be surprised if it was done rushed or half ass because let's be real. Um, you know, it's a lot of work to just give spa treatment to a, for a bunch of people, especially when they don't charge anything for it. And the thing is, I did pay extra for the services. You know, I bought the glass blasting and the thumb stud, but... Still, I didn't pay anything for the spa treatment part. I only paid for shipping. So that I won't be surprised. <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of like half-ass this. Let's just be real. Um, I'm I'm not sure if there's a, a correct side inside or outside. Um. That's going to be messed up. Yeah. I'm trying to see if there's any difference on each side. It could be, a, there could be a difference. But. Damn me, because I cannot see it that well kind of dark in here i mean i don't have any loop with me um but just from looking at it i want to say it's not going to make any difference which side it's facing but let's take this apart all right see it's still hanging on right here where they put all that loctite it, they loctited the fuck out of this thing oh my god like, I don't, oh my, yo, I don't want to use pliers on this either, so, dude, like, what kind of Loctite is this? They're using, like, permanent Loctite on this, for real? I don't know. That's pretty bad, actually, because, like, you never want it to be that sharp. Oh, wow, that just, like, didn't do shit. Um, whatever. I'm going to leave this because I don't really need to remove it. But it's just a good note to know that Loctite is serious. All right. So I'm going to wipe down the blade here. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's fine. I'll wipe down the blade. Okay, I also wipe down the little bushing. Well, I, all right. I don't know what grease they've been using, but the, you know, it looked like there was very little grease on it. But uh, it's fine. All right. Let's put 
that back on. Okay. <clears throat> so with Chris Reeve knives, they usually regular them. They usually recommend that you build the knife back, uh, the, the handle back before you sandwich the blade back in. I think that's still the case on the large. So I'm going to do that. Um, yeah. It's always a little nerve wracking to do a, like something on a knife when it's your first time taking it apart and trying to add a part to it too, you know? So that's always a little bit of pressure. I think that one goes there. Um, where the fuck is that blue? Oh, it's right here. Always a little bit of pressure here, you know? Okay, and I guess that fits right there. I'm sorry, I put the pin back here. I'll do it back, do it again for you guys. Take that pin that came with the Carolina the backspacer, put it in there. This backspacer hole fits over there. The, the included um, lanyard hole or whatever that thing is. <laughs> uh, you just drop it in there, okay? And we're gonna take this, uh, maybe I'll wipe this down too, all right? Since it's open. But just wipe this down, we'll... take the lock bar side and put it in right let's just do it right here let's see what it looks like I really don't know because this is my first time doing this all right that looks proper okay that looks legit the fitment is good um, there's so much Loctite here. I will brush it out a little bit. I mean, this is disgusting, if you ask me. Their Loctite job is not ideal, I guess you wanna say. I wanna say it's not that clean, you know? It's a little bit too much. It's, all right. I mean, it's kind of common for people to do a bad Loctite job, but I wish they would put a little less. You don't need that much Loctite, you know? All right, so. <clears throat> All right, well now, now I gotta remember which screws grow uh, went where. Hold up. Um, I'm not gonna do the pivot yet. This one was, all right. This one was for the lock side. All right, let's go. Lock side. Oh, shit. All right, make sure it's good. All right. Yeah, always go in reverse before you feel, um, before you tighten it, just to make sure it's not slipping. I um, mean, and also um, not stripping anything. There you go. All right, that's good. It looks pretty good and, and you can see it's gonna protect my fingers from getting cut. That's why I did the silver thumb stud mod, all right? I mean the upgrade um, lock bar side for, I guess this goes, oh shit. Um, the, here, there you go. Put that hold up yeah guys sorry that this video is so awkward but I'm just doing this shit for free and also 
I figured since I'm gonna do it, I'll just try to catch part of it at least on camera. You know, since I don't see anyone else doing this shit. Um, right here, all right, this thing is good. Okay, looks nice. And now I uh, have to put on the wa uh, the washers, all right? Now, um, all right. Now this might be the time to put on some lubrication, okay? And let's do that. Don't put too much, okay? And this time I'm gonna use Gunny Glide, all right, instead of CRK grease, which I hope works out, okay? But judging by what I saw on the blade anyway, probably gonna work out. It's gonna work out, you know what I mean? I saw, it was like nothing on it. It was very light lubrication and I'm sure it should be fine. Okay, that should be enough on this side. Oh man, I gotta be careful, that blade's still sharp. Um, wow, I can feel the oil coming through. All right, um, a little bit on here. All right. All right. Now, I got to push that pivot bushing through oh shit um oh that's oily fuck all right anyways that shit's oily as fuck all right now push the pivot bushing through so it has a lip for both sides to catch on and this thing is getting messy all right i'm not bullshitting you guys this is getting messy um Hold up. I'll lean it against the cap, which is not going to work because it's moving too much. Here. I keep the Dalika against it. Now, I didn't do one thing before, which I probably should do. And that is oil the D10 ball. All right. The tent ball is oiled now, all right? And I am going to pick up the blade. All right, this is the moment of truth right here, for real. Um, <clears throat> because after this, this shit's like done, all right? Moment of truth here. Very nervous here, all right, guys? If I had music, it'd be suspenseful, okay? Okay, um, all right, right there. The holes line up. I didn't pinch shit, all right? I didn't pinch anything. That That's looking good. Um, now, I'm gonna put a little bit of grease. Um, let me think, right here at the end of the pivot. And I'm going to drop it in. All right. All right, hopefully this goes in because, <laughs> oh my God. It's a moment of truth here. And I don't know if it's gonna go through because I cannot see the holes lining up. But let's see.
can't really see it. Um, yeah, that's not lining up. Hold up. That is not lining up. All right, that, that's it. Uh, let me see the washers, if they're okay. Hard to see. But they seem okay. They seem fine, which is a relief because that was tough, all right? So, yeah, pulling back the lock bar is useful in that situation to get the holes to line up. And no, guys, you don't have to buy an expensive driver like this one to finish a job, okay? All right, I'm not gonna tighten it all the way. That's pretty tight already. And I am going to cap this. I might need it though, all right? I'm not done, here's the Dalica. Centering is on point, okay? Hard to show it on cam. Um, no blade play already, guys. Even with, I didn't do the finishing touches, but it's no blade play. Um, let me see, lock stick. No lock stick, guys. All right. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of a drop. You know, I, this bottle is going to last me forever. Look how big this bottle is. Only 10. Uh, this is not even the big bottle. 10 milliliters. But honestly, I'm never going to use this up. Probably. Oh, shit. Um, it's going to be very hard to use this up. And uh, that's why I'm buying knife lubrication. It's not that big of a deal. You buy it like one time. It's gonna last a long time. And this one smells like coffee or something. Um, all right, so the detent ball is oiled. The pivots on each side are oiled. I might give a slight touch. I mean, I don't know if it's a good idea, but anytime I see metal on metal touching. I like to drop a little bit on it. All right, so right over here where it's gonna touch the lock, I mean the stop pin, I, I just rub it, all right? There you go. And I don't think that this is ever gonna be a flicker. I mean, it might flick eventually after I break it in more, but it's not going to become drop shutty, you know? It's not going to become like that. And that's fine. This is a CRK. It's not a Koenig Arius, okay? It's like two different, two different kind of knives. And you just got to respect it, you know? You respect what they are meant to do. And what they meant are meant to be. Okay. Let me see the pocket clip and screw. I don't know if the pocket clip. All right, pocket clip is good. Just wanted to make sure it's not seized up or anything, you know. Um, hold up. So I will move the blade like this for a while to break it in, get the oil spreading along the bearing, I mean, not the bearings, the washers and on the pivot, all right? Um, all right. I don't know if they replaced any parts from when I got it, because I think in the beginning I was able to flick it. 
But uh, let me see what happens if I loosen up the pivot and not, all right, I loosen up the pivot and it's still centered. All right, you know what? Loosening up the pivot doesn't do anything on this knife. This thing is already dialed in no matter what. And uh, I'll tighten that up. Yeah, no difference. I don't think there's a difference. I think it dropped uh, on my thumb better when I first got it, but it, you know, it just came back from service. So they might have did something like replace the washers which I don't think is included. So they probably didn't do that, but it sounds smooth, you know? But CRK is not meant to be uh, flicking or anything. So this is perfectly fine, okay? And if I really want to, I mean, it has, I can see the oil in there. Yeah, I can definitely see the oil in there. Um, maybe I'll take some oil out off the top and uh, maybe I don't know get some oil right here try to seep it in there and seep it in there yeah. all right guys I'm pretty much done futzing around with this knife This, everything here is tight. Okay, all tight here. One last try with the pivot. I'm gonna loosen it. That's very loose now, okay? I can feel the screw wiggling. All right. Oh shit, you saw that? All right, so loosening up the pivot does make the knife action looser and fly out more. There is a hint of blade play though. Um, let's see. I, you know what? In this case, I am going to, where is it? Hold up. I need to go get Loctite which I don't know where I put it. Oh, it's right here. I got my Loctite over here. And I will Loctite this screw here because I don't want to have to, uh, I don't want to have to uh, tighten it all the way. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna apply a little Loctite. This isn't the Loctite that I'm used to using, but like, this is what I have for knives, you know? I'm used to the liquid form. But for knives, this one's a little more convenient. And I just got this recently. All right, guys. I I never had Loctite for my knives before. Um, all right, so. I'm, all right, that's fully tight, okay? And let's test the action on fully tight. All right, you see it doesn't drop and that has no blade play. All right, so we're gonna back it off a little. A little bit.
play play check none um, not really any let's, let's see All right, I'm gonna leave it like this, okay, guys? I am, you know, it's gonna break in more. The screw might end up loosening itself, which I don't want it to get too loose, you know? So that's really all there is to it, okay, guys? Um, I know this video, oh my God, look at that. That really took a beating right there. Um, I'm not worried about this set though, because this is uh, the little, the, driver bits that I just used. That's from Tech 10 and they have a lifetime warranty on their tools. So uh, let's take a last look. That problem with the edge of the blade coming close to the back of the um, handle is gone now because it's closed off and you can't see anything. There's no knife uh, blade coming close to touching your hand when it's closed. Now. It looks, uh, the way it looks, and whether that looks good or not is debatable. But um, in my opinion, the functionality of it is worthwhile. Um, does this void your warranty? Um, perhaps, but if you're gonna send it back for spa treatment, which you don't really need to send it back for spa treatment, really. I mean, just use your knife and take care of it. But uh, if you're gonna send it back, just take that piece off. That's all. It's made out of aluminum and uh, it gives nice grip on the back. I feel like it is. this is glass blasted and was slippery before, but now with this, it gives you extra grip against your palm, all right? And yeah, there's definite grip, uh, traction added with this Carolina Blades backspacer for the Sabenza. And this is the large, the large Sabenza model. And uh, definite, definitely worthwhile. And uh, yeah, if you had a problem with your fingers getting cut on the large Sabenza, That's it, right there. That, that, that's the mod. Okay guys, I hope you guys found this video useful. This video went on for a long time because this took a long time. I've been holding off on this modification because I didn't find time to record it. So guys, yeah. If you like this video, like this video. If you wanna see more, let me know, okay? If you wanna see me on Instagram, it's TimZUSA. And until next time, Tim Z out.